welcome back students we begin with a new chapter molecular basis of inheritance we'll talk about the most important molecule of life called nucleic acid here we are going to talk about its building blocks what are the building blocks of nucleic acid okay first what are nucleic acids they are biologically significant polymers of nucleotides linked by bonds called phosphodiester bonds we'll deal with nucleic acid structure in the later videos but before that let us see what these nucleic acids are made up of so building blocks of nucleic acid nucleic acids are uh, of two types definition is here biologically significant polymers two types of nucleic acids are dna deoxyribo nucleic acid and rna ribo nucleic acid so as i said first we will talk about what they are made up of so the unit of nucleic acid or building block of nucleic acid is called nucleotide just like if you talk about what are proteins made up of we say amino acids because amino acids are the building blocks of protein carbohydrates we talk about any polysaccharide carbohydrates we say monosaccharides are the building block forget about lights talk about a wall what is a wall made up of for just in a layman's language if i say what is a wall made up of they are made up of bricks so unit is brick though there are cementing materials and all that is bonds but basically we are now talking about the unit the brick so just like a brick makes up the wall many bricks make up the wall same way nucleotides make up nucleic acid whether it is dna or rna now what are those nucle what are those nucleotides made up of we are going to talk about the components of that brick here that is the nucleotide components so nucleotides are made up of three components a pentose sugar a phosphate group and nitrogen base okay it has got three components phosphate group is same in both dna and rna we'll talk about phosphate group later because it is involved in bond formation etc let us first talk about what are the main differences what we see in dna and rna on at the level of the components so first pentose sugar pentose sugar is a five carbon sugar so that way both dna and rna have got pentose sugar but that means the carbon numbers are 5 but there is slight difference between the two types of sugar because of which one is called a deoxyribose sugar and the other is called ribose sugar we will see how the difference is in the structure in the next screen okay before that nucleic acid dna is double stranded as you can see here double stranded helical whereas rna is single strand helix okay so we'll go to the detail of the components deoxy ribose sugar and ribose sugar are the pentose sugar similarly nitrogen bases present in both dna and rna are again of two main types purine and pyrimidine purines are of two types adenine and guanine these are all nitrogen components other than like for example normally sugar and all those have carbon hydrogen oxygen etc these bases have nitrogen also in them that is why they are bases so purines are adenine and guanine whereas pyrimidines are three types thiamine uracil and cytosine what is found in nature we are talking about what is found in nature in dna and rna both these purines are there adenine and guanine are common pyrimidines differ because both dna and rna have one pyrimidine different cytosine is common in both dna and rna one of the pyrimidine other than cytosine in dna is thiamine and in rna it is uracil this is one major difference again in dna and rna when we come to discuss the differences among the two one difference lies here in the pentose sugar though both are five carbon sugar one is deoxyribose other is ribose nitrogen base purine dna has thiamine rna has uracil other three bases are common to both and second important thing what we talk about later when this helix come up there are two strands 
one weighs at one strand, the other weighs complementary to it on the other strand. So, what is that complementarity? When we learn structure, we will go in detail. But in short, the complementarity comes in the bases. They pair up. A purine always pairs with a pyrimidin in the structure. So, adenine is the purine which always pairs with thiamine in DNA. Guanine is the purine which always pairs with cytosine pyrimidine. Okay, in DNA. Whereas in RNA, it is single stranded, but there are cases when pairing is mentioned, pairing, pairing happens. We will come to that later somewhere. Uracil. So, it has got adenine, guanine, cytosine and uracil. So, if at all pairing has to happen, it is between adenine and uracil with, with double bond. Adenine and thiamine in DNA with double bond. Guanine and cytosine in DNA with triple bond. Guanine and uracil with triple bond. So, these details we will learn in the structure. Who was the first to find nucleic acid? Frederick Mischer in the, 18, in the year 1869. Now, building blocks, when I come to the structure, see, I have made a block here representing it in the form of a brick. So, what is this brick made up of? As we discussed, it has got a pentose sugar, a, a general picture I have taken here. We will talk in detail about the difference of the pentose sugar in DNA and RNA. Uh, pentose sugar, nitrogen bases, it could be any of those bases that we discussed. I have just taken one. Then, phosphate group, which is common. Phosphate group confers negative charge to DNA and RNA. DNA and RNA are negatively charged. Now, nitrogen bases, as I said, they are of two types, purines and pyrimidines. Purine, two types, adenine and guanine, see the structure, both are two ringed structures, double ring. Okay, so around four, one, two, three, four nitrogen it has. Positions would be labeled as I will tell you later. Pyrimidine is of three types and you can see all of them are same, single ring. So, this is one major difference between purine and pyrimidine. Double ring purines, see smaller name, more ring. Bigger name, less ring. That way you can remember. Okay. So, now uh, that is one difference. So, in DNA you have as I said thiamine and in RNA uracil. Otherwise, adenine, guanine both in DNA and RNA, cytosine both in DNA and RNA. But other than cytosine, thiamine in DNA and uracil in RNA. Okay, base pairing always occur between purine and pyrimidine. Between adenine and thiamine, between guanine and cytosine. Double bond between them, if it is between adenine thiamine or adenine uracil as in RNA. If it is between guanine and cytosine, triple hydrogen bond. This is all very important when we learn the structure. So, this base should be clear. If we come to the uh, sugar. See, the sugar in DNA and RNA looks almost the same. I have circled one area here. The second, you, you go, you start here, first carbon. 5 carbon sugar is pentose, first carbon. Go clockwise. 1 prime, we say it as 1 prime end, 2 prime end, 3 prime, 4 prime. And the fifth prime we take outward, the fifth prime. So, same way here, 1, 2, 3, 4 and fifth prime. Okay. So, where is the difference? The whole structure is same except the second prime, two prime, second carbon. Second carbon in ribose is having a hydroxyl group. Other than the third carbon, it also has a hydroxyl functional group in the second carbon. So, it is highly reactive here. That is why RNA is less stable. When we come to why RNA is uh, less stable than DNA, this is one reason. Because it easily reacts. It is highly catalytic because of the second carbon. Whereas DNA in the second position has lost an oxygen. See, during the course of evolution, it was ribose sugar, I mean RNA that had come first. DNA had come later. So, there is a lot of things related to that also. So, it has lost one oxygen. So, the word itself comes deoxy, loss of oxygen. So, loss of oxygen from the second carbon makes it deoxy ribose sugar that is why the uh, prefix added deoxy here it is ribose sugar because there is hydroxyl group this should be very clear this is one more difference between dna and rna when you learn the structure the difference in their sugar another difference we discussed was this difference in the uh, pyrimidine okay in dna and rna thiamine and uracil that is the difference now, coming to how are those three components bond together into one brick? 
the uh, pentose sugar when i talk suppose i talk about dna the deoxy ribose sugar when binds with a nitrogen base could be purine could be pyrimidine here i have taken purine the two together is called a nucleoside we will learn in the next frame only when nitrogen base and sugar is there you call it nucleoside okay when three are there when phosphate group is also added you call it nucleotide t t from three you will remember that way tide for uh, t for tide and t for three so three components nucleotide two components nucleoside now what binds them the uh, sugar and the nitrogen base is always bond with a glycosidic bond between carbon 1 of the sugar always carbon 1 of the sugar will attach to the nitrogen uh, of the purine or pyrimidine if it is purine it is the ninth position nitrogen which makes the bond called glycosidic bond so if it is purine carbon 1 of sugar and ninth position nitrogen of purine okay that is glycosidic bond so whether it is dna or rna this is going to be the same and what makes so this two becomes the nucleoside when it is bond when it is also bond to a phosphate group what we also call phosphoric acid phosphate phosphoric acid is same the hydroxyl group of the phosphoric acid and the oh group of the sugar they undergo reaction to eliminate water so condensation where it for eliminate h2o okay so that makes a bond called phosphoester bond or phosphoester linkage phosphate group plus the fifth carbon oh of the nucleoside because these two together are nucleoside makes the bond called phosphoester linkage then you call this a nucleotide I have taken here purine example same thing if I take pyrimidine example the carbon 1 of sugar binds with nitrogen at first position single ring pyrimidine first position of the pyrimidine so this you have to learn for examination point of view also it is very important carbon 1 of sugar and nitrogen at the first position of pyrimidine if it is a pyrimidine if it is a purine carbon 1 and nitrogen at the ninth position okay that is the link of glycosidic bond now here i have taken ribose sugar only as an example deoxyribose sugar but this could be anything this could be purine or pyrimidine this could be purine or pyrimidine bonding would be between the same numbering okay that you should take care of so when the three together you make it as a nucleotide you call it deoxyribonucleotide when three together in case of rna you call it ribonucleotide if it is two you call it nucleoside if it is two component in dna you call it deoxynucleoside in rna just nucleoside that is how you name it now see this chart uh, though it looks a little uh, tough but don't panic especially the biology students at least you should know nucleoside is pentose plus nitrogen base alone only two components nucleotide is nitrogen base plus pentose sugar plus phosphate nucleotide can also be called nucleoside plus phosphate it's not you should know the biology students also should know this much other than that in dna when the two components are there how does the name go according to the specific base it has with the sugar so deoxy for dna deoxyribose sugar plus adenine will be deoxyadenosine we are talking about nucleoside in nucleotide the phosphate also is there plus deoxyribose sugar plus adenine will be deoxyadenylate or deoxyadenylic acid so rest of the names also you can read that way if it is rna sugar plus base adenine will be adenosine here it is deoxyadenosine here it is adenosine guanosine cytidine here sign here when it is when it is purine it is sine and when it is pyrimidine it is dyne okay same way here nucleotide when base is adenine adenylate when base is guanine guanylate for dna deoxyadenylate deoxyguanylate like that it goes so that's all for now rest in the next video thank you so much keep watching and keep learning thank you so much